Yesterday, for the Feast of All Saints, we heard from the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus proclaiming blessings in the Beatitudes. And one of those is, blessed are those who mourn. It seemed so fitting for the day to sing with the litany of saints and to repeat that refrain, pray for us, pray for us, pray for us. And today we come to the Feast of All Souls. Our worship space, the window sills are surrounded by photographs of people we've loved and whom we've lost. Tonight we will gather in liturgy to say their names in a ritual and to light candles. And perhaps you will be able to join us at seven o'clock tonight, or perhaps you'll be at home and creating your own shrine at home with a photograph, a candle, maybe some mementos, and you'll ritualize your loved ones whom you've lost in that way. It is a time these days to acknowledge our losses and not just the loved ones whom we've lost this year because we have all lost a lot. We've lost what we cherish, both that and what we've taken for granted. In this year of pandemic, we've lost hugs and we've lost our opportunities for eating out. We miss our typical routines of school and work, gathering with family and friends at the holidays and birthdays and maybe even Sunday dinners. You can add your own losses to this particular litany of the 2020 pandemic. And so I'm asking myself and all of us, how are we coping with all of these layers of grief? Maybe it's by dwelling on memories of better times in the past or holding out hope for better days yet to come. Maybe it's trying to stay focused in the present and to sit in the present moment, which of course is all we really can count on and give thanks for what gifts are there right now in the present, right now held in our hands. I hope you're finding ways to cope with the many losses of this year I'd like to offer one suggestion if you have not already seen this website called goodgrief.org. The program has a particular emphasis on helping children navigate the death of loved ones, but in the pandemic, they have expanded their resources to families and children and all of us who are trying to no negotiate differences in school and family life, home life, our friendships. There are many good resources, videos, podcasts, and print resources to use. I offer two right now with this video. One is called 10 Tips for Navigating the Holidays. Things like honor yourself, Manage your expectations, plan ahead, expect the unexpected, set realistic goals, surround yourself with support. It offers 10 tips for all of us who are trying to manage life, which is so different as we anticipate these holidays to come. It gives explanations and suggestions and also accompanying it is a planning sheet, like a simple graph that you can take and fill out as you look ahead to the holidays and how different the traditions will be. It invites you to write down what the tradition is, who, what, when, and how, and what's important to you about it, whether you should keep it or how will you change it and what the new plan for you will be? Or if you want to drop it all together and how doing so will help this year for you. This, um, these PDFs are available on good 
grief.org slash resources will have a link uh, that accompanies this video reflection for you. The last in the 10 tips, number 10, is called open your heart. Even though the holidays can be difficult, they can also be times of healing. And that's my prayer for you and for me, for all of us, that we can walk through these days with an open heart, a grateful heart. God bless and stay well.